Hi, I'm Tony Fleming. Welcome to Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, I just pulled the hanging tag off of uh, this 97 Corvette. This is a, it's called a Mongoose Edition, and I'm going to do my best to describe it uh, as it was described to me. Um, Mongoose Motorsports built this uh, engine in here, which I'll get to in just a minute. But there's a lot of great features and touches on this car that I'm sure I will not be able to cover them all, but I'll do my best to give you what I know. Uh, if you give me a second, I'd like to open it up a little bit for you so you can check out some of the things. This has uh, Lambo doors, so you can either open it like this, or you can go ahead and throw them up like this. And you can get in and out easily. Just throw them up. It offers a great look on the car. You know, it's hard to, uh, it's hard to not see them go, wow. Anyway, I think they really look awesome. The underhood of this car is nicely detailed, and that's the kind of part that I'd like to talk about for a minute if I could. All right, this started out as an LS1 5.7 liter, built by Mongoose Motorsports is what I've been told, but this is a 383 stroker. It has AFR aluminum heads. I looked those up. They're around 2,500 bucks just for the heads. Ceramic coated headers and full Borla exhaust from the cat back. Got carbon fiber ram air, upgraded mass airflow sensor. And if you look around, you can see all the carbon dress up package that's in here. This is very interesting here. If I could get Justin to show. This is signed by Dave McClellan, Corvette guru at General Motors. He was impressed enough with the car to sign it. I think it's pretty cool. So to back up this power, we're told it's 550 horsepower. I don't know it to be true. All I can tell you is there is an enormous amount of power in there. It feels like all of it's there. And I've driven it and it is I mean, bad A, and it flies. Anyway, the transmission is built by Lingenfelter to handle the, the power. Obviously, his company was known for, for building high-performance Corvettes and being able to have a transmission that could stay together and get the power to the ground. All right, a couple of nice things to talk about on the car. This has a set of 18-inch upgraded Z06 chrome wheels on fresh tires with red painted calipers and slotted rotors. This also has the upgraded uh, factory ride control, which actually was pretty expensive for 1997. Um, it has three settings. Uh, one, if you just want to cruise. Two, if you want a little bit of performance. And three, uh, if you want to take it to the track. Upgraded Z06 vents in the back, which look very nice. The interior itself stayed stock because, uh, quite honestly, the Corvette interior has always been very nice. This has a lift-off roof panel, stows in the back, and it has a pretty high-performance audio system. Justin, how about I show you what that looks like? Uh, this has an upgraded Pioneer digital tuner, DVD player, navigation, satellite, pretty much everything. It's got a subwoofer in the back. Factory climate control, which is dual, meaning the passenger can have their own temperature. You can have your own it's touch screen. Here's the navigation working right now. Full gauges, 200 mile an hour speedometer, 7,500 RPM tack. I don't know if it'll hit 200. I know it's fast it's for the next person to find out. When you buy this car and if you do hit 200, could somebody tell me? I'll put it on the video. Anyway, uh, how about we hear how it sounds? Because it just sounds great. Go ahead and start it up. For a performance car of this caliber, they've done a great job uh, keeping the idle smooth and the drivability there. Sometimes when you stress out a car with uh, heading toward the 600 horsepower range, you know, you get very lumpy engines, check engine lights come on, air conditioners don't work, all that stuff works on this car, no check engine lights, smooth as silk. I'm holding the wheel right now and the car is running. The exhaust system is absolutely great looking with the Borla big tips on there. Sounds good. Rear wing was added for the rest of the body kit. Nice thing about a Corvette, it has plenty of storage in here. This is to protect your luggage so people can't see it. Got a nice Corvette embroidered mat and stowage net. You don't want to leave this in, you don't have to, but it's nice when this closes, everything back here is all hidden. Windows are all deep tinted. I love a car that's got a lot of performance, but still doesn't leave you stranded or stressed out if you're stuck in traffic. You know, everything still works on this car from the cruise control to the tilt wheel. Uh, I've got upgraded stereo, which is really a nice touch, embroidered floor mats, carbon fiber door sills, carbon fiber, uh, complete interior engine trim. Uh, you know, these doors here are very nice because they're actually very easy to close. And you can have them regular like this and nobody knows about them and you can just go ahead and button them up like that if you like. We're very proud to present this car. Great looking paint, great looking body. We're Fleming's Ultimate Garage. 
Mongoose Corvette, 550 horsepower. Call us, 301-816-1000 and experience a fantastic car. <laughs>